Our journey to the National Stuttering Association's annual conference in Fort Lauderdale began in January this year when I received an email about workshop submissions. I had the idea of dragging my dad halfway across the globe to share his experiences of raising a gay son with a stutter. Dad was always there for me, but we never really talked about my speech, and I wanted to hear how he felt about it. What were his fears? How did he try to deal with the situation? These were questions that I thought were worth asking, and so the idea of our workshop was born. Having never given a workshop before, I reached out to a very dear friend of mine called Nina. She helped me outline a pitch and later refined the workshop after we had been accepted into the conference. With my passport in hand, I found myself on the train heading to Vancouver International Airport. Dad was flying in from Dublin the day after I was due to arrive in Florida. Twelve hours and a cab ride later, I arrived at the hotel and checked into our room. I collected our conference badges and spelling mistakes aside, I was going to use the time to get ready. Asking my father to co-host this workshop was a risk. I told him no cursing or sexual jokes, as we were meant to be professionals. I heeded Nina's instructions to be prepared and we got to the room 30 minutes before our presentation was due to begin. Here is how we were both feeling. How do you feel? Yeah, no, I feel good. Um, I think Rob's a little bit anxious, but uh, we're going to have to cover that somehow or other. But that'll be fine too. No, all is good. So, are you, are you fully ready? Do you know what you're going to say? No, I haven't an idea. I have no idea. I have some notions, some thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully it comes out the right way. Okay. And yep. that's it. That's it. All right. Okay, Rob, hi, your turn now. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. Really? I'm thinking maybe asking you to come to this. I should have asked Mom. She's more, you know, she's shy. She yeah. would be nice to people. Actually, but, yeah, probably yeah, you're right. Probably. Uh, no, I'm nervous. This is our first workshop together and uh, really committed that the people who come get something from the workshop and specifically uh, a parent's point of view on stuttering. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to go with it anyway and have some fun and uh, catch you on the flip side. Great. Good Thank you. I got to talk about my favorite thing in the whole wide world. No, not food. <laughs> no, not hairy, sexy men either. Rather, I got to talk about cars, all of them, the Mini, the Golf, the M3. My father got to talk about his own memories of raising me and uh, also had the opportunity of throwing in the occasional joke at my expense as well. The 75 minutes flew by and I think it went pretty well. We had a great audience and people seemed pleased and said that they got a lot from our double act. I asked him later, what did he get from the whole experience? And this is what he said. Um, the, well, the, the thing that shocked me was when you asked the audience, um, and I don't know how many people were there, maybe 35, 40 people, was it? Or mm. Something like that, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, but when you asked were any stammers in the audience, and then nearly every, everybody put their hands up. Mm. I just didn't realize, I just didn't realize there were so many. And then in the after, session I stayed back with all the fathers mm. and of the 25 fathers that were there and um, all of them have at least one child who stammers or mm. stutters and they'd be boys or girls yeah mm. I'm, I'm just yeah blown away I mm. didn't realize yeah you know cool well listen thank you again for taking part I hope you had fun hope we maybe get asked back next year I don't know if they're going to ask Canada. us back what do you think Canada. <laughs> <laughs> nice we'll say good luck <laughs> okay thank you right as for me, I got a lot from this first National Stuttering Association experience. I gave my first workshop, and there are more to come later this year. I also got a new perspective on stuttering by being in an environment where it is accepted without fear or trying to fix it or control it. So much so, in fact, that I was moved to tears by a conversation I had with a very special little boy who talked to me about cold pizza and swimming. He was so at ease with his stutter that I couldn't help but wonder if I had been him at his age, where could I be now? Most of all though, I got that the NSA is a safe space for families to come together, not to fix their stutters but to embrace them, 
to feel heard in a way that the outside world sometimes doesn't listen to us. And that by supporting their children, parents, by just being there, set them up for a life of freedom and love, despite their speech. To my own parents, I'd like to thank them from the bottom of my heart. The man I am today is a testament to how they raised me. Mom, Dad, I love you both, always and forever. Thank you. To learn more about the National Stuttering Association, you can check out their website at https forward slash we stutter.org. And to learn more about myself, you can check out my website at https forward slash just one more drive.